Hey booktube, it's Thea and this is going to be my January wrap up. So for January I have a total of six books so let's go ahead and dive right in and show you guys what I read. The first book I picked up in January is Exit West. Um, I don't know how to pronounce his name but basically this is a very short um, kind of a magical realism literary fiction book that follows Nadia and Sahid as they become refugees or country with from violence and through circumstances, they meet and start to fall in love. It's a love story, but it also deals with, you know, being refugee and being in a country that's not your home, not being able to visit your family because you are a refugee, so afraid you can't travel. And um, I really, I found that this was, I don't know, I just couldn't connect with this book. It's not a bad book. I didn't hate it at all. Um, I think that... I don't know, I just, I wasn't a huge fan of the writing style. It wasn't something that I could just really, every time um, I put it down, I just didn't really feel like picking it up. And it's very short, so um, I ended up reading this in like a day and a half, I think. But I just, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't really love it. I didn't really connect with it. Um, it didn't really grip me. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I think I, I think I'm going to, and then, um... I, I feel like it could have been better. I feel like I would have enjoyed it a lot more if there was just more to the story. I feel like it was just too short and not a lot happens in a short amount of time. So I feel like it could have been better if it was a little bit longer. And so therefore I gave it three stars. And the next book that I picked up in January is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. This is a classic. Everyone knows what this is. Um, if you don't know what this is, basically it follows Guy who is a fireman um, in a dystopian future where firemen actually start fires instead of putting them out. And they start fires at homes where books are found because books are now illegal and um, it does a lot with censorship and a lot of other things. It's a classic. Um, but this is, this has been around for a while. It deals, it still has a lot of, even it's weird because even reading it now, I feel like it has so much cultural relevance still. Um, but I really, really enjoyed this. Gave this four stars. Um, beating myself up that it took me so long to finally read this, but I am finally, I am happy that I have finally picked it up. I finally read it. Um, and I really enjoyed it and I gave it four stars. Then I picked up Quan Volume 1, which is like a manga. I picked this up at a um, library book sale just on a whim um, because I've been trying to read more manga and different kinds of formats and branching my and branching out a little bit. I didn't really like this. Very confusing and there wasn't like a consistent timeline. Each chapter was like its own little mini story, which I don't normally mind, um, but they weren't really related to each other at all and it was almost like each chapter was a different episode but I wasn't a huge fan of this I, I did enjoy the animation I thought the animation was really cute and um was, was something that was different it's basically um Quan is a boy who uh eats demons and devours their powers but um it just wasn't something that I really liked so I gave this three stars and then I picked up Lie to Me by J.T. Ellison, which is a book I read during Buzzwordathon. This is a domestic thriller that follows a couple, Sutton and Ethan. Ethan one day wakes up to find a note from Sutton that she has disappeared and that she is leaving to not look for her. Um, and he starts to think that maybe she didn't just leave, that maybe she was kidnapped or murdered. And as domestic thriller and as the story always goes husband is the first suspect the police start to believe he did it and things happen the story kind of unfolds from there I enjoyed this it's a very fast it was very fast paced I did really enjoy the writing style I listened halfway I listened to this like half on audiobook and half on regular and like half physically and the audiobook was great it's a full cast audiobook but um it was very fast paced. I think I read it in maybe like two days, maybe two and a half days because it's pretty big. But I ended up giving it three and a half stars just because while it is very fast paced and while it didn't take very long to get through, it was a little predictable and it's very, very heavily inspired by Gone Girl. Um, and it even talks about how if you're a fan of Gone Girl, you'll like this. And throughout reading this, you just get, you just 
you just are thinking about Gone Girl the whole time. So I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I gave it three and a half stars. Um, I don't read a lot of domestic thrillers, so I really enjoyed this. But it was a little bit predictable, so I ended up giving it three and a half stars. And then um, the second book that I read during Buzzwordathon was Seven Ways We Lie by Riley Redgate. This is a YA contemporary that follows seven main characters who are all characteristics of the seven sins. I um, had a really hard time getting through this. I really liked the idea of having each of the main characters represent a seven deadly sin, but I was just not a fan of the writing style. I had a really difficult time determining which character was during each chapter is a different character and I had a really really difficult time knowing who was speaking because they all sounded the same. I had to keep referring to the beginning of the chapter to figure out who char what character um, to figure out who was speaking but it, I, I enjoyed the concept. I didn't really like the writing style and it took me way too long to get through this so I gave it a 2.75 stars. And the last book for January is a book that I'm still currently reading and I'll probably be reading for a couple months and that's Outlander by Diana Gabaldon or Gabaldone. Um, I love the TV show. I've, season four is coming up on the finale. Um, my book club decided we were going to make our way through the whole series this year so I had no more excuses to continue to put this off. Um, it's been sitting on my shelf. It's been sitting on my shelf for like two years. I actually met Diana and she has signed it. So I had no more excuses to continue to let this sit on my shelf. But I love the TV show and so I figured it was finally time to pick this up. Um, but I'm like 100 pages in or so and so this is going to be a project that I work on for the next couple months. But I'm really enjoying it so far and cannot wait to continue with the series. So here are the technically five completed books for January. Um, but let me know down in the comments below what you read for January, if you've read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. Um, as always, I have all my social media stuff down below if you'd like to get in contact with me by any other on any of my other platforms. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!